But I have another heavy heart in me that there was some neg the physical negligence on the side of the doctor and we are actually investigating circumstances under which our son left because there was some negligence which I must condemn here and I am going to do the work of, of, of investigation on that hospital. Whereas I am a born again Christian and I believe that everything that happens, God allows it. But we must do our work when we are on earth and we must do every work we are given intelligently. I will ask for forgiveness to those of you who will be offended for this, but for me I have to speak it because I am doing it. We actually have already arrested one of the people who came with the medicine and gave it to our son and he passed on Sunday. The doctor who allowed people to come and give and give medicine in that hospital, we are investigating him. I don't mind the relationship, we are not going to hurt, but he has to do his work day day. Pheromonas, it is not time for me to speak with my side of the anger, but it is, it is the pain I feel that if God had done his will, when man had done his part very well, maybe we wouldn't be this sad. Faith. Faith. Know that we will still hold you in estimate love. Your friend is not God, your friend is in the right hands. We still believe that God can do a miracle in, in, in His will. Yes, I'm Dr. Kawesa Andrew, a medical superintendent of the Yeswa Pagala Medical Center. Uh, my deepest condolences to the family of Mr. Mulinde for the dear loss of their child, their son. Uh, just to give a quick brief, we received uh, Pastor Mulinde. He came in our clinic on Thursday around midday with a simple complaint of abdominal pain, mostly around the gastric area, following a night of taking a cup of coffee. So we were managing him as a patient of gastritis, and uh, we had taken all his vitals that were normal. Blood pressure, blood work is okay. However, as we continue management around 6 p.m., they called us in when his condition had changed. And I found him, he was unconscious, gasping. We tried resuscitation, which failed, and he later passed on. Uh, our working diagnosis at the as per the time of passing on, we were thinking he possibly had developed a right, sorry, an inferior wall in fact, that could be the cause of his death. Uh, the rest of the information, we don't want to say much because there are investigations that are ongoing at the time. We'll be letting you pick. Well, the two gentlemen they are talking about, they came in at around lunch hours. Uh, what I want to say that Mr. Gideon was always with his wife in the private room we had given them. That's from three. And the wife was always in attendance to the patient. The two gentlemen, they came in when Gideon was very stable. He was conscious. They were chatting freely. Matter of fact, I checked on him at around 3 p.m. And again, we went back at around 4 p.m. However, nothing looked atypical in the way they were relating to each other. That is, the two gentlemen and the deceased. Everything seemed fine. 
So there was nothing really worrying at the moment. There was no way we suspect that <coughs> the two gentlemen would do anything funny to the patient. Of course, when we came to resuscitate him at 6 p.m., when they called us in, we received information from the wife and later from the gentlemen themselves that they had given him extra treatment that wasn't part of our prescription, which one of the guys had gone down to our nearest uh, pharmacist town and he had bought some drugs which he told me were labeprazole and mucogel, which are basically drugs used for our treatment. And he had given him some. However, I cannot really ascertain if really that was labeprazole and mucogel as such. But when, we, when they were doing the investigations, we were able to show them what exactly the gentleman had given the patient as per what they said. Minus that, uh, that's what I can conclude for the moment because they are still investigating to see what exactly the real cause of death was. But just to comment, you know, this is a very sensitive issue, but to say the wife was always in the vicinity of the patient. Even the time of giving him these extra drugs that this gentleman gave, the wife was there. And of course, we cannot sit in the patient's room 24-7 watching over the patient because we do have other patients on the ward as well. But we do serial visits as we observe the patients. We take their vitals every two hours or so, and we check on them and see how they were doing. So that's what we did. Basically the same routine as we do every day. It's just unfortunate what happened, of course, but I believe it will be, it's more importantly is, it's better we wait for the postmortem and see what exactly. <laughs> I have been relaxing and saying slowly I'm going to be pulling out of the work of leading WTN. I have been sickly a little bit over the last few, I would say, two years. But in my heart I would say, Lord, let your servant rest in peace. Because you have prepared someone to take over. I know you don't understand what that means. The pain that's there, the, the vacuum that is there, the hopelessness that comes. And to think, Lord, now what? I've got to go back, start building all over again. Now what? It's been a struggle not to lose hope. And I have to say to myself, you are still God. 
You reign. You have not lost it. I trust the Lord. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know how it's going to go. I'll trust you. I know it's not been in vain. I know all these years have not been vain sowing and investing. I know that you are in charge. And that's what I feel. I feel, Lord, what is tomorrow bringing? Where, where am I going? Where is this work going? All these visions we've been sharing with Gideon and talking about this inspiration, what is going to happen to them? I had one young man say, Fathers don't have faith. They just want to bury him. I said in my heart, you don't understand. You don't even know what it means to pray for someone to be right. It's not a simple expression of your desire. I have been there. I can testify. The level of the times we are living in. But I want to tell you one thing. God is doing a quick work. And if you don't awaken, I see Gideon very much like a student.